my name is Dean Smith and I'm a Senator for Western Australia and I'm delighted to have been chosen as the inaugural McKinnon Political Leader of the Year. I'm someone who was always attracted to being a parliamentarian. When I looked around me as a young person I could see lots of people making very positive contributions to the community that I lived in. Here is where we've built the Chin Community Church. They're all very excited, so it's a great outcome. I grew up in a working class area of Perth, but I was someone who was well supported by my parents. At the time, I wasn't conscious of how challenging or difficult being a gay man was to realising the dreams and aspirations that I had wanting to be a Liberal parliamentarian. When I went to the Australian Senate in 2012, I was on the public record being opposed to marriage equality. My journey from no to yes is a deeply personal one. First tonight to the dramatic situation continuing in Sydney's CBD. As police continue to negotiate with the armed offender. In late 2014, Australians witnessed the terrible events around the Lint Cafe siege in Sydney, and one of the people to have lost their lives was Tory Johnson, the cafe manager at the time. Tory was a gay man in a gay relationship. It became very, very obvious to me that the lack of change in the law may have denied them an opportunity to have their relationship recognised by the law. And that would become a very heavy burden for me and one that I reflected upon a lot. Politicians change their points of view on issues all the time, but often they protect themselves by not disclosing, not owning that change of position. In late 2017, I introduced a private senator's bill to the parliament to give effect to marriage equality. The big hurdle was not community support. In the party room, there were some very divided views that had been very, very long held by people. The emotions that surround the issue were deep. It was deeply personal. At times it was hurtful. But in public life, you do have to be robust enough to know that securing the policy outcome is what is important. You go to national parliament not to make friends, but to achieve outcomes. The results are in. Australia says yes. 61.6% are in favour of changing the law to allow same-sex couples to marry. A very personally satisfying feature of the whole marriage equality debate was the tremendous sense of cooperation, support and trust that many senators shared with each other from different political parties. The real question out of this debate is why isn't our parliament like this more often? Together we provided the political leadership on this moral issue and together we won. Dean Smith's bill introduced to the Senate and there was spontaneous applause. It's very obvious to me as I speak to people that there's a high degree of political cynicism in Australia about their political class. The success of the marriage equality debate last year was a moment where I think that cynicism dissipated, where people felt truly proud of their parliamentary process, proud of their parliamentary representatives. When I became aware that I'd been nominated for the McKinnon Prize, I was excited. It was a very powerful, tangible, real understanding for me that what I had done, what others had done with me, was good. This is, by any and every measure, a huge democratic achievement for our country. This was a historic moment for Australia and Dean was an absolutely critical part of that. He was very collaborative in the process, incredibly respectful of all sides of the argument. He demonstrated enormous courage, the combination of his humble approach but also his bold approach. I think the recognition is well deserved. What the McKinnon Prize will allow Australians to do is to have a conversation about how better their public discourse can be, to have a discussion about what are the qualities of real political leadership. I believe Australians deserve strong and courageous leadership and for that reason I'm delighted that the McKinnon Prize exists and I'm greatly honoured to have been its inaugural winner.